It's big, it's sparkly, and it doesn't have LTE. Yeah, we were surprised too. But whatever your opinions are, Google's anticipated flagship phone has finally arrived. Hello everybody, it's Lin Law from CNET here with the LG Nexus 4 on T-Mobile. The Nexus 4 has a 4.7 inch true HD IPS plus display that has a 1280 by 760 pixel resolution. Now instead of having a straight edge touchscreen that LG phones usually have, the Nexus has a very nice, very premium feeling display that curves slightly into the bezel. Powering the device is a quad-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. Gameplay was very smooth on this handset and the graphics were vivid and rich. There's also a 2.1 ampere hour battery inside which roughly translates to a reported talk time of 10 hours. Above the display is a 1.3 megapixel camera that can shoot 720p video and on the back is an 8 megapixel 1080p camera. Now, as the Nexus phone of the year, the device offers users a pure, skinless Android experience and the most recent OS, known as Jelly Bean. It comes packed with a bunch of new features, particularly with the camera, which now sports a tweaked UI with radial dials and more editing features. There's also the Photosphere shooting option, which lets you stitch together pictures taken from every angle at a single point to create these expansive 3D-esque photos. Other new Jelly Bean features include easy access to Google Now, which is tied into Google Search and Voice Search. Because Google Now isn't technically a voice recognition service, it's not like iOS's Siri, but it does have assistant-like abilities. For instance, it could suggest local restaurants and estimate your commute time. The Nexus 4 also has gesture typing, which is similar to Swipe, 2 gigs of RAM, NFC, and Bluetooth. One huge feature it doesn't have, however, is 4G LTE. Now the last model, the Galaxy Nexus, didn't initially launch with it either, but LTE has been around long enough that it's come to be a staple for flagship devices. Instead, the Nexus 4 runs on 4G-ish technology known as HSPA+, which can be as fast as LTE, sometimes. Google cites cost and battery life as some of the reasons it opted not to include LTE, but it's hard to claim the Nexus 4 is cutting edge when phones like the LG Optimus G and the Motorola Droid Razor Max HD are both powerful, high-end, and have LTE. In general, the device is solid. Its internal speeds are zippy and smooth, the camera is packed with new features, and the UI is indeed sleek. But other than offering users a pure jelly bean experience, the phone doesn't have anything substantially new going for it. The Nexus's design isn't anything we haven't seen before, and while its data speeds are respectable, its lack of LTE capabilities will definitely leave users feeling behind or slighted. Having said that, however, the Nexus has always been successful with devoted Android fans, and we predict that this one will be no exception. Plenty of CNET readers have anecdotally reported that differences in HSPA Plus and LTE speeds are negligible. And what's more is that the Nexus 4 is extremely affordable. It'll be available on November 13th, unlocked, starting at $299 for the 8GB version and $349 for the 16GB version. T-Mobile will start selling it a day after. The 16GB model will go for $199 alongside a carrier agreement. Again, I'm Lynn, and this has been the LG Nexus 4 for T-Mobile.